Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that if x is real, prove that 5x square minus 8x plus 6 is always positive and find its minimum value. Now, we will start with the solution. Here, the expression is given as 5x square minus 8x plus 6 which is equal to by taking 5 common within brackets x square minus 8 by 5x plus 6 by 5. Now, by the method of completing the squares, we will complete the square of this. So this will be equal to 5 within brackets x square minus 8 by 5x plus 6 by 5 and adding and subtracting the square of half the coefficient of x, it will be plus 16 by 25 minus 16 by 25. Further, this is equal to 5 within brackets x square minus 8 by 5x plus 16 by 25 plus 6 by 5 minus 16 by 25. Now this is equal to 5 within brackets x square minus 8 by 5x can be written as 2 into 4 by 5 into x plus 16 by 25 can be written as 4 by 5 whole square. Here 6 by 5 minus 16 by 25 will give plus 14 by 25. Further, this is equal to 5 within brackets here the square is completed and it is x minus 4 by 5 whole square plus 14 by 25. Now multiplying 5 inside we get 5 into x minus 4 by 5 whole square plus 14 by 5. Since x is real therefore x minus 4 by 5 whole square is always positive. Being the square for all real values of x. Thus, 5 into x minus 4 by 5 whole square plus 14 by 5 is always positive. As this expression is positive, so multiplying with 5 which is positive and adding 14 by 5 which is also positive, this complete expression will be always positive. And we have done earlier that 5 into x minus 4 by 5 whole square plus 14 by 5 is equal to 5x square minus 8x plus 6. Now as this expression is always positive, therefore 5x square minus 8x plus 6 is always positive. Now we have to find the minimum value of 5x square minus 8x plus 6. Now let 5x square minus 8x plus 6 is equal to y. This implies 5x square minus 8x plus 6 minus y within brackets is equal to 0. Now if x be real then b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. From here, putting the values of a, b, c here, this implies b here is minus 8, so it will be minus 8 whole square minus 4 into a here is 5 and c is 6 minus y is greater than or equal to 0. 
Further, this implies 64 minus 20 into 6 minus y the whole is greater than or equal to 0. This implies taking 4 common within brackets 16 minus 5 into 6 minus y the whole is greater than or equal to 0. Which implies 4 within brackets 16 minus 30 plus 5y is greater than or equal to 0. This implies 4 within brackets 5y minus 14 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, this condition will be satisfied if 4 and 5y minus 14 are of same sign. That means 4 is positive, then 5y minus 14 should be greater than or equal to 0, which implies 5y should be greater than or equal to 14. This implies y is greater than or equal to 14 by 5. This shows that y cannot be less than 14 by 5 as otherwise 4 into 5y minus 14 the whole will become 14 by 5, then this expression will become negative. Hence, minimum value of y, that is, the expression is 14 by 5. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.